Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms. And I hope you can hear me over the sounds of chainsaws and gunfire. That can only mean one thing up here in the mountains. First, hunting season is just around the corner. And second, Christmas season is just around the corner. That's right, uh, one of the farms down the road from me, about a half mile or so, it is a Christmas tree farm. And they arrived bright and early this morning to start cutting down Christmas trees. So that's the background noise you're hearing. Anyway, on to the subject at hand, and that is the old Craftsman 2 GT20. Man, the first year is over. As you can see, I just took some time and washed it up. And uh, I'm very, very pleased with my tractor. This was my $40 tractor. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, you can see I have other videos that kind of chronicle its progress through the stages of bringing it home, fixing it up, and then using it. Uh, complaints? Not many. I'm having a hard time trying to figure out how to get an electric sleeve hitch option to work on this. And that's kind of a bummer. Apparently, if you have an automatic transmission, you can wedge one up underneath that frame there. But uh, that I've been able to find on the internet, no one's had any luck with these uh, high-low uh, transmissions, the manual trans. And that's kind of unfortunate. But it is not over till it's over, and it is not over. So, what else have I done to this thing? As you can see, i got the wheel weights off of it right now. I'm considering putting wheel spacers or maybe even a set of dualies on the rear of this tractor for next season. So that's a winter project I may have going on. And in the meantime, I've gone ahead and taken the wheel weights off because I'm not planning on doing any uh, work with this. This is it. I've washed it up. It's going inside for the winter. We're actually expecting our first snowfall Sunday. I don't expect it to be too much, but regardless, this one gets put away. The Husqvarna is going to have its deck dropped here shortly and the plow attached to it. And I'll be ready to start plowing snow Ugh. yeah I'll make a video of that too by the way so for the future of this tractor uh, if you look at one of my other videos I put a light bar on the Husqvarna for plowing snow and man it is insanely bright and I was looking at this tractor and I've got LED bulbs in there and they're okay and I realized that if I took that plastic off there there's actually room to mount one of those light bars inside of that and uh, so that's what I'm gonna do I'll wait till they go on sale again. I'll pick one of those up over the winter. Uh, other things I'm going to do over the winter with this, and this was kind of interesting. If you watched the first video when I brought it home, I was originally going to make this a mowing mower, and uh, oops, sorry. And the deck that came with it was the deck itself is okay, but all the uh, idlers and the spindles were all uh, seized. They were just rusted up. So one of my winter projects, and I guess I'll film that as well. I've got the deck. I brought it inside, went online, looked up all the parts, and looks like I was pretty close. I said it would cost about two two fifty uh, to fix that deck up. Looks like it's only going to cost about one hundred to one fifty. So I've started ordering parts for that, and that'll be another winter project. I'll strip it down, paint it with some rust oleum, and start putting all those new pieces on there, sharpen the blades up. And next year maybe I'll do a little mowing with this thing. So uh, we'll see how that works out. Anyway, Craftsman Two GT six thousand with the high-low six-speed and soon to have 50-inch cutting deck. Got the front scoop on it. I cannot say enough nice things about this. This was a great deal. This is a great tractor. If you can find one of these things used that's in salvageable condition, either the 18 or the 20 horsepower Kohler engines, they're extremely durable. Uh, it's worked great in the garden. It's worked great for hauling dirt. I've hooked up carts to it and hauled firewood around. Uh, just super happy. That's it. That's about, a, I'd say it's about 70 hours since I bought it. So we'll call this a 70-hour review and the uh, end of its first season here on the farm. I'm Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms. Hope the distraction in the background wasn't too much for you. It's starting to rain here, so I'll wrap this thing up. If you want to see other videos like this, you want to see the progression of this, please check out my other videos. And stay tuned because there'll be more. Obviously this winter in the garage when it's snowing outside, I'll have the wood burning stove going. And we'll do a deck rebuild. Might add duels. <laughs> and we'll take it from there. I'm Eric. Take care.